that what should he do if his office timings do not permit him to pray on time? If you analyze the five daily salah, which is a fard, as far as the fajr salah, that's the morning salah, the isha salah, night salah, these don't clash normally with the office timings. Even the maghrib salah doesn't clash. When it comes to zuhar salah, the afternoon salah, it can be prayed during the lunch time. Most often, the lunch timing of the office match with the zuhar salah. The problem that arises mainly is in the asar salah. Or you may have difficulties in other salahs if you are doing night shift, etc. But if you have problems, if your office timings are clashing with the timings of the salah, what you should do is that you should request your employer to give you a break of 10 minutes to offer your salah. But most of the Muslims, we are afraid to ask our employer for time of offering salah. For other things we ask, for going for picnic and going for weddings and birthday parties you ask. But for offering salah, we feel shy. Most of the Muslims, we are apologetic, we have an inferiority complex. And your employer, even if he is a non-Muslim, my experience tells me that 99% time he will give you time off for your salah. But you should request him nicely, humbly. But when he gives you time off, there are some Muslims who take a break for more than an hour for salah. And they say we have gone to a far off mosque. The employer will start thinking that have you gone for salah or have you gone for a stroll? I have got no objection a person goes to pray in the masjid, the mosque, if it's close by. If it's not close by, or it will take a lot of time, you can very well even pray in the office. You can have a compact pray mat, a musalla, and keep in a locker. As I mentioned in my talk, our beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 56, hadith number 429. That the earth has been made for me and my followers as a masjid, as a place for doing sujood. Therefore, when the time for prayer is up, you can pray. You can even offer in your office, see to it that you find a very clean place, and you can offer salah. Don't pray extra nawafil, etc. Pray your for a salah, as well as sunnah de mawqida. That is sufficient. But there are some people, who, when they go to offer salah, and if they find that picture is obstructing them for salah, they take out the picture. Or they cover the picture with the cloth. If the picture is obstructing your salah, pray in another room. Why you have to pray in the room which has the picture? Go in another room. Then there are some people who in a non-Muslim office, they want to make a jamaat. I have got no objection if you make a jamaat. But see to it that all the Muslim employees in that office don't leave the work simultaneously so that the office work comes to a standstill. You can very well pray in several jamaat. As if you see, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in hadith number six to seven, in the book of Adan, chapter number 35. It says that even a jamaat can be made by two people. Even two people are sufficient for jamaat. So if you work in non-Muslim atmosphere, don't put the office work at standstill. Offer in various jamaats. And if a person, if a Muslim, works dedicatedly, honestly, no employer, even if he's a non-Muslim, will prevent you from a break for offering salah. If your employer is uncompromising, you can very well bargain with him and tell him that, okay, I will not take my tea break. Please give me break for my asar salah. Or you can say that if I take a 10 minutes break, after office hours, I will work double. I will work triple. I will work for half an hour free of charge. Don't give me overtime. Any businessman will agree with the person who is taking 10 minutes off and is working half an hour extra after office hours. Normally, you have to pay double or one and a half times. So you tell him, I will work thrice the time of the break and don't give me a single pie. He will surely agree. But in extreme cases, if your employer is amongst the one person or uncompromising at all, the best option for you is remaining is that you change the job. Offering salah is for If the employer is among the one person who doesn't give you offer salah, change the job. 
you may never know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you a job in which you may earn more but irrespective whether you earn more or less in the new job offering salah will gain you more benefit in the year after than not offering and getting a few hundred rupees more unfortunately even in some of the Muslim offices which have most of the employees in it Muslims they don't offer salah neither alone neither in Jamaat I would like to request all the Muslim brothers that in their office they should see to it that they themselves along with their employees who are Muslims they should offer salah and there are always ways in which you cannot disturb your office work and yet offer salah in fact in the long run if you offer salah along with the employees it will help you in your business and you will make more profit